And so now I'm just looking at him and he's looking at me and we're just looking at each other and I'm like, I'm gonna need you to pull your mask up. <laughs> channel uh, I was undecided uh, if I was gonna vlog this trip however my friends were in the girls chat earlier today pun intended um, it talking about our you know our theme or our word of the year so every year we pick a word um, and shout out to Jade because Jade is actually who taught me this. A word to basically, I don't wanna say theme your year, but a, a focus word is what it is. So uh, like last year, my word was consistency and I think I was really consistent with like recording. This year, my uh, word is execution. So speaks for itself so today we have two legs and me to atlanta atlanta to buffalo and then tomorrow it's just the re reverse uh buffalo to atlanta atlanta miami super easy trip um let's go to work <laughs> to leave um, Miami at 6.07 p.m. and we finally got the door closed at 7.18 and we probably sat there for another like 30 to 45 minutes before we could actually push back from the gate which ended up making us late for our Buffalo flight but not too bad. We were scheduled to go out at 9.46. We ended up leaving at 10.01. And then when we landed here in Buffalo, the um, the jet bridge was stuck on like a sheet of ice. So like the tires couldn't catch any traction to actually bring the jet bridge over to the aircraft, which caused us like, we were only supposed to be like 10 minutes late um, to the gate. And we ended up 
opening the door like 45 minutes after we actually landed. We get to do it all over again tomorrow. Good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I was going to say welcome aboard. That's awful. But, um... It is the next morning. It is 10.50 a.m. I slept in. I feel great. Um, I probably end up going to sleep around 2.30 or maybe even 3, I think. So there's that. The lighting in this room is a lot better today because the natural light is going. So now I'm going to show you guys my little setup because I tried to set myself up for success this morning. I'm so proud of it. It's so cute. What outside is looking like? Honestly, oh cool, there's a train, I'm missing it. <laughs> there was a lot more snow on the ground last night, but I was tired. It was time to, you know, get in and get to bed. And it was dark and the lighting was weird in here, so. I'm about to learn how to edit, I guess. <laughs> God be with me. With this editing thing, I have no clue what I'm doing, but you gotta start somewhere and you cannot perfect nothing. So I have to get something going that way I can learn to perfect it. So here we go. Hi Siri. Hi Siri. Hey Siri, how cold is it outside? It's currently cloudy and 29 degrees. Expect windy conditions starting in the morning. Temperatures will be fair. 29 degrees, I don't think I'm going outside. I just officially edited my very first vlog um, right here on an overnight and on a layover rather, I don't know, whatever, either or in um, Buffalo, New York. I'm like so proud of myself, y'all like, but look, that is not the best uh, photo of me, but like, it really has like an intro, y'all. Like, look at this. I, I ripped my hand. I got some bigger knots to y'all. Look at me. It's 2.05. Band time is 5.22. I got an hour and 20 minutes until it is time for the van. So I'm going to go upstairs. Uh, it is five o'clock, our van time is in 20 minutes. So I'm just packing up the last of my stuff in my bag so we can go on the airplane. So we made it on the plane. Today I am working at the three door on the 321 aircraft. I don't think I said that yesterday that we were on that plane, but we were on it all day yesterday. We will be on it all day today. This will be my jump seat tonight and it is fairly awkward because right across from it is passenger seats. I got a story for y'all when I get off those, so stay tuned. About to board right back up ahead tonight. Also, we are parked at this gate, and I feel like it's torture because P.F. Chang sounds delicious. <laughs> So it is 
actually Thursday at 12.50 in the afternoon. Last time we spoke was on Tuesday night when I got off of work. Uh, I forgot to close out that video. But here I am now. So I have to be at work at um, 5.20. So I'm headed to the park to go get a nice little run in before I have to go to work. But really quickly, uh, I wanted to tell you guys about that last flight or maybe it was my second to last flight i think i told y'all to stay tuned for like a little um a little story time i had a passenger who didn't have his mask on which is pretty like sad to say but pretty normal in you know today in the today of things you, know, you get your people who try to play with it like right here no he had it like all the way down here so i was like hey sir can you please put your mask up and i just keep walking because that's usually what i do uh, at least on the first like request i walk back through again and i notice he has it back down here so i was like sir can you please pull your mask up and he just smiled at me with it down with it right here and he's like smiling and so now i'm just looking at him and he's looking at me and we're just looking at each other and i'm like I'm gonna need you to pull your mask up. Finally, he pulls it up and I'm like, thank you. And I kid you not, I couldn't even walk like two rows away before I see from my peripheral that he pulls it back down. So I take two steps back. Before I could even finish saying, sir, he had his phone up and I was like, okay, I already see what's going on here. You, you are just the type of person who likes to instigate a situation for no reason. I wasn't yelling. I don't think people around us caught on to what was going on, whatever. So he had his phone, I was like, that's fine i'm just asking you to keep your mask on and that was it turned around and i walked away so at this point now we had gotten our chimes that we were beginning our descent so every time i walked by him he was like this with his phone so i was like every time i walked by him i would just put my hand up like this so i decided to get my other crew members involved i let them know what was going on and they we reached out to our like we use our device and we let them know what was going on on the ground but long story short he was met um by by you know authorities when we landed so this is just a friendly reminder to pretty please be nice to your flight attendants like we don't want to have to ask you to pull your mask up just as much as you don't want to pull your mask up so just wear it you never know the conditions of the people around you i've had cancer patients on my flight who are scared out of their mind with perfect reasoning to be because they, they don't know what 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 is going on around them or rather they know what is going on ar around them and they're trying to protect themselves you know so you never know what the next person or the passenger next to you is dealing with so just be respectful to other people and wear your mask or drive your car